Y'all yeah, about to see NYPD, bro. Top right security, bro. Look, police over there. Welcome to New York, bro. I'm telling you, it's a lot of y'all out there right now. Everybody who's out there, make sure y'all safe. Appreciate everybody who popped out for y'all, bro. We gonna make sure it's safe. Bro, we're not gonna do nothing until it's safe. We gotta make sure it's safe. Everybody's good. But find us already. Hold on. Clear this whole side. Clear this whole side. good. So he can see. Yeah, look, 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 look. Oh, they, they see shit already, bro. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, it feels so good to Easy be here. Yo. Like, this is hometown. Like, it's home court advantage. Nah. We got home, home court, court advantage, advantage bro. Home court advantage. Look, bro. Look, look at this. Look at this. Court. Look at them. They standing like a f***ing unity, bro. You got, we, gotta, we gotta get right here. What? I think this is a civil right? That's right, that's right now? I bet. So we out. God damn. 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 God all the A&P out here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get off first. Let me get off first. Yeah. Oh, where we going? Where the, where the park? Where the park? Where the park at? Right here. Oh, Are oh, we out okay. we're out to the middle. We're out in front. We're out in front. Oh, Yo, I can't have nobody bumping into my book bag this time. Because we've seen a straight to three. Yo, I cannot go out there with the book bag. The lower Manhattan, and you can see news helicopters are overhead. That's Union Square Park. The park has been swarmed and wow. basically overrun by people. Look at the crowds of people there. Um, in fact, subway lines, bus lanes, they're bypassing Union Square. It's a big subway station uh, in Manhattan. Apparently, what had happened here is a popular Twitch streamer was holding a video game giveaway. If you don't know what Twitch is, you're not alone. I barely know what it is. It's apparently a platform yes. where you can watch other people play video games. Which is a thing. A lot of, I mean, Sounds clearly. incredibly boring, but obviously it's a thing. So oh this Kai Sinat was gonna do a giveaway. He announced it on his Instagram feed. Um, and look at this. It's basically become Are a mob scene the there. They're on top of cars. Yeah, this wow. is Union Square. Well, Sandra, as you can see, I am standing next to the Union Square subway station entrance where it looks like it was closed off because of construction. But look up on top of that. That's what's happening on top of the subway station entrance. There's, I can't even count, countless people up on top of there. They're climbing it right now, as you can see. In fact, if Hector, if you can pan to your left, they're actually on top of the statue here at Union Square. I I've actually got a couple of his followers here with me who can kind of explain to us what they were expecting, what happened. Uh, young man, give me your name real quick and tell me uh, why you came out here, what you expected to happen, what did happen. All right, my name is Dilek Quantavius. Um, so basically, just, you know, it's a Kaisenat, Phantom, all of the AMP members, well, I don't know about all of them, but they pulled up, you know, do a little meet and greet and a giveaway for the fans. Yes. Giveaway of what was the understanding? So, from my understanding, PS5s, video game accessories, uh, PCs, but I don't think they will actually give away an actual PC because how is somebody going to carry that? So I'm pretty sure it's gift cards for them to then go and get the P5 themselves. So, safe to assume that you, along with your friends, came out here thinking that you would get some freebies, is that correct? Not that we're thinking, but there's a chance to because, you know, there's so many people and there's only so much you could give. Has any of that happened? Is he here? Um, he's here right now, yeah, and they were giving out, but people are, you know, people are being people. There's so many people here, people are pushing around, so you can't really get it organized. Okay, and before we came on, you were telling me that, in your own words, that some people out here were bugging out. Explain to me what you saw, what you meant by that. Bugging out, like, like, like you can see, like, there's no excuse, obviously, for what happened, but, you know, stuff like that just happens all the time. You know, people being reckless. It's New York City. Stuff like this happens every day. Well, I wouldn't say every day, but, <laughs> what? you know what I'm saying? 
Well, thank you and be safe. Um, as you can see, Sanjo, we've also heard and seen incidents of construction equipment behind me. I'm going to show you one live look, last live look again of what's happening here. Construction equipment being tossed around. We saw smoke. I'm not sure if that was a fire or mm -hmm. some kind of smoke bomb. Uh, again, this was all sparked by a Twitch streamer, a social media influencer. He has 20 million followers. He asked them all to come meet him here at Union Square for what was a PlayStation 5 giveaway at 4 o'clock. Apparently, we're also hearing that people showed up only to find out there were no freebies. And as you heard, he is here. At one moment, he was uh, live streaming in a van nearby, but he did step out. As you heard, he's out here greeting his fans. Uh, we even observed Chief of Department Je uh, Madri out here having objects thrown at him. Mm -hmm. Cops uh, are obviously outnumbered out here. Safan, I don't want to interrupt back. you for one we'll quick second right things. now because you're looking at live pictures of a car that was literally covered with people, and we do believe that that was the vehicle that had Kai Sanat in it, which you can see now was looked as though could have been leaving the area. Um, and that is why you're seeing that crowd there chase after. That, that's it. That's the vehicle right there that they believe Kai Sanat is in right now. As Safan was saying, he was there. He was in the crowd for a little bit of time, but clearly this was an out of control crowd and and no, no freebies given ways. away, no yeah. giveaway whatsoever getting in the car. But clearly you're looking at a very dangerous situation with this car now driving pretty fast with those people hanging clinging on to the side and top of it. I, it's mind boggling. I, it's mind boggling why they're not stopping to let these people off the car. And they, oh, and then there just fell, someone fell off. Okay, joining us now is Bob Boyce, former NYPD, to talk more about this situation. Bob, can you hear us? It's Liz Cho and Sandra Bookman. I can. I can, Liz. I can hear you. Okay, we know you're on the phone. I don't know if you have uh, an opportunity to see what's going on in Union Square, but talk to us a little bit about police procedure. Obviously, this was a situation that police were not expecting. So how is it that they start getting the upper hand in, in, in crowd control here? So they, they call the level three mobilization. That's citywide. So there's going to be cars from every precinct in the city coming there. They have to stage first, and they have to get together. Then they have to, at some point, go in and disperse the crowd. Now, someone should be on a, on a bullhorn right now dispersing this crowd. I don't know if they're doing that yet, but that's usually what happens. Generally speaking, they'll bring in mounted to aid in that effect, and they'll start diffusing the crowd as best they can. It looks like you have our unruly mob right now, and they have to bring order to it. But citywide units are coming. In the meantime, they'll have to do with the best they can what they have. How much of a challenge is this for law enforcement? Look, we've seen similar things on the Jersey Shore. Somebody sends out an announcement uh, on social media that there's going to be a party. The next thing you know, you've got 3,000 people on a beach at 11 o'clock at night. This seems like a similar thing. We're giving away freebies in Union Square at 4 o'clock, and the next thing you know, five, 6,000 people show up. They're not getting the freebies, so they start acting out. How difficult is it for the department to get a handle on this and keep it from turning into a kind of free-for-all. Mm -hmm. oh, we've lost Bob Boyce. He's on the phone. We're going to try to reestablish 